Thank you, Sille, and uh, and and really excited to be here today and uh, and hearing how how Europe is really taking now the the next next couple of years in in speeding up with the data spaces development and uh, and and truly uh, interesting years ahead. Um, so I'm gonna um, tell you here a little bit about the endeavor that. Uh, we have uh, started to uh, put together a resource library for things related to data spaces and, uh, um, and maybe uh, just a, a bit of a background. So, so where this is coming from uh, also is that, uh, that in, um, in, in this fall, we uh, uh, did a study uh, with the Ministry of uh, Transport and Communications in Finland um which then resulted one of the outcomes of the of the of the work was a, a report that was called state of data spaces 2021 which was kind of a snapshot that well this is what's happening around data spaces this is sort of the the overall you know initiatives the 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 the, the targets and, and and where we are at this moment but already then with the ministry, we kind of discussed that it would be great to actually have this as a resource that's alive and being updated and becoming open and, and, and inclusive. So that's what we are doing now. So we are, we are publishing this now as the kind of a first step to have a, a really a resource uh, for everybody uh, to, uh, to keep in, in, you know, uh, keep aligned and also, uh, um, up to date to what's happening around data spaces. Um, this, uh, work is also supported by, uh, Ministry of Economic Affairs and Employment of Finland. So, uh, so this is, uh, uh, um, has, has good backing from, from the Finnish uh, government. But uh, so, so what did we then, uh, how have we structured this uh, resource library? So this uh, division of, of contents actually comes from the state of data spaces report very much. Uh, and, uh, and so we have, first of all, kind of intro to fundamentals. What are the concepts, key concepts that are being used? How can we kind of have a, a broader design framework that we, we could use for data spaces? So that's the beginning. Then we have listed some of the key initiatives, key organizations that are working now uh, related to data spaces. Then key regulations, so DGA, uh, Digital Govern uh, Data Governance Act was mentioned already many times. So there's Data Act coming. There are you know other things, of course. GDPR is there. So so many many uh, aspects related to regulation that will have a strong impact on what's happening around data spaces. So so we'll we'll try to keep that up to date. Then we have this sort of soft infrastructure part, and uh, and and that's more sort of the the, the generic building blocks is building blocks, the, the, the components that are used to then create these different data spaces, which more or less should be common for all data spaces. And then those can be then divided into trust the building blocks and, uh, and interoperability and uh, data value and governance building blocks. Uh, for example, but nevertheless, so, so the idea here is that it's sort of the, what are the, the tools with which you can start building these uh, 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 data spaces. And then, uh, well, we've used uh, recently this kind of a split between when we think about data spaces, so you can think about them as common. So, so we talk about common European data space for health, for example. So, so it really is the idea of, okay, we have agreed for the sector of health how do we deal with interoperability of especially health related data and uh, so for example you know how do these sector specific needs are met so that's done at the data space as commons level but then you have all of these different groupings of organizations and and actors uh, who then use the data spaces, and you can think of that as a, that as a different view, which is data spaces as ecosystems that are evolving and uh, and, and are using and also cross connecting between different uh, sectors. So we talked about the the, the cross domain already, uh, you know, uh, in the Q and A with Kimmo. So so that's really important also that these ecosystems can can you know, find their use cases also in a way that combines different sectors. That's really important. 
important. And then the funding opportunity. So this is the structure in the library. And really the library is actually, a, a, well, basically a set of these sort of a, a, a summary pages um, as Google Docs at this moment, we might change it in the future, but currently it's a set of Google Docs pages that look a little bit like this, or they look exactly like this. So this is sort of the framework that we used. Uh, so key facts, core ideas, links to the material, but also then is this related to regulation? Is this related to the framework standardization or, or is it the building blocks thing? And then if it's more domain specific, so which domains are included? So that's kind of the, the overall framework that we used in this library now. And uh, and then just to show a little bit what the content that then looks like. So, uh, so under the fundamentals, so as said, there is the key terminology. And this is something that we really want to expand because there's plenty of terms and also there is no one single clear crisp yes everybody understands data space like this it's also having this as a as a living part of the document that well how do we understand these different terms is is important um and then there was this uh, uh data spaces design principles uh, framework so so uh, so that's also a good starting point if you uh, uh want to get more into the topic of data spaces so i can recommend and to read this uh, um, uh, white paper that came out, out uh, in the spring and actually is now being uh, uh, updated. So you can expect an, the, the 2.0 version of the design principles paper to come in, uh, in, in well, first, first half of next year for sure. Anyway, so, so this is kind of how the, the uh, different uh, resources have been uh, set up here. I will just show just another, well, okay. So here's one point as well that some of these things like Gaia-X, so they are in several different parts of this resource library. So Gaia-X is a big initiative. It's a key initiative, but also it's providing soft infrastructure. So for example, then if I go a little bit further, so under soft infrastructure, we have um, here Gaia X Federation services, which are concretely the building blocks now that are being developed as part of Gaia X that everybody should start using if you want to be Gaia X compliant. So anyway, so the same, you know, different views of the same initiative can be under different parts of this, this library now. Um, and um, so, um, well, I mean, here is an example of, 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 uh, of an updated one. So we already under the my data uh, uh, web pages so there is a form i think uh, yogi also uh, posted a link already so where you can submit your uh, uh, proposals for this library and this is something that fireware already submitted and i updated this morning so uh, so please do the same this is now really uh, meant to be a live document and uh, we try to be responsive if you have uh, updates and uh, and so forth um then um just to uh, maybe to to bring a, a kind of a segue to our next speaker, so uh, so Marianne, so I'll just show a data sharing coalition, uh, which is a, a Dutch initiative, uh, which uh, includes uh, uh, really broadly the industry and different actors in the Netherlands, and 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 also here there is a kind of a nice uh, example of how this is in several places so then data sharing coalition also created this nice tool that you can use which is called data sharing canvas when you have different uh, uh, different uh, ecosystem different networks and you need to figure out how they work so uh, so this is an excellent tool for that so anyway, that was a quick uh, run through of what we have come up with and, and really encourage everybody to uh, uh, take a look and, uh, and, and, and also contribute, as said, uh, this is going to be uh, much better if we uh, do this together. So uh, thank you very much. And, uh...